Hey fam, it's Lily. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome and thank you for joining me on today's video. Today we are back with our guy Frank Stem, and I brought him to the Romantic Festival for one thing and one thing alone, and that's to get these flowers. Let's get him to harvest these flowers and hopefully we'll get something unique so we can make better bouquets and sell them for a higher value. Look, these sims are jamming in the background. Let's see what we got. We got six roses, six tulips, and birds of paradise. This is so awesome. These are worth so much money. Frank is going to have a ball. But now that that's done, we can head on home. Frank came, Frank conquered, and now Frank is heading home. We'll see you in the morning. So Frank just made it back from the romance festival. I have him sleeping. And what I'm going to do is in the morning, I'm going to delete the bluebells and the daisy flowers so we could sell those. And I'm going to plant the tulips and the birds of paradise. And we have 99 plus snapdragons. I want to sell those. Our flowers just grew in, but I'm going to sell these snapdragons now and we'll use those to make the bouquets. So I'm going to go in here real quick. I wonder how, you know, I'm just going to have him harvest everything. And once he's finished harvesting everything, I'm going to delete these bushes. Delete, 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 delete. And we still get a little extra money here. This is a snapdragon. And delete these bluebells. So we'll just move this over here and this one over here. Come in here and let him grab a quick meal because he's hungry. You are trying to save money to build your house today, Frank. I'm gonna have him weed this and spray for bugs. Wow, he harvests 90 snapdragons. We get a lot of snapdragons. So we're gonna put all these flowers out here, the roses, and then we're gonna do the same for the tulips. So we're just gonna drag those out here. Now these birds of paradise, they make a lot of money. So we're just gonna have them plant those. And these bluebells, we're just going to sell them. And we're also gonna sell the daisies. I think Frank has inventory. So let's see. He has seven bouquets. So after he's finished his garden, we're going to start this sit hell. We are going to start the yard sale. And this time I have to make sure I restock the table before ending the yard sale we got customers hello simon hello rita hello anya all right simon brought something for 108 simoleons can we get anyone else to buy anything cecilia is back with us today and so is clara what are you doing in this neck of the woods come on let's see if anyone else buys Oh my goodness, 1,036 simoleons, 1,542 simoleons. Let's stock this table. Tend the table. Oh no, this one is going bad. It's wilted. I wonder if they're going to buy it still. I think in this episode, we are definitely going to get our house built. Someone purchased the bad flowers for 130 simoleons. We have one more. Let's go, guys. 314 simoleons awesome and then i'm gonna have him grab a quick meal of yogurt then we got to get back over here to make our arrangements he's working hard on his bouquet so we have 10,000 simoleons i am thinking maybe 15,000 to 18,000 we can start building our tiny home umber grove would like to come over and hang out is that okay now this guy is Frank's best friend. I'm telling you, he calls for him to go to the gym. He said he missed Lake Day and Frank loves it. He loves working out with him. He loves going to his house, riding his horses. Frank does a lot off camera. And this box, he loves Frank. He's always over here. All right, we have our girl Sarah and Dustin's back. Let's see who's gonna be the first one to sell out our stall. 14.52. Thank you, Sarah. 14.50. We don't make enough bouquets. I'm telling you. 
He is always selling out like in the first five seconds. Come on, who wants this last one? Sarah, come on. Let's see if we could give Ian a sales pitch. Does it work? Did it, 1280 for that last one. So we do have one. So I'm gonna have him stock that table. Come on, oh, Umber left. Bye Umber, thanks for stopping by. Sarah, do you want this last bouquet? Do you want it? It is 12 in the morning. Frank is, she bought it, 742, thank you. Maybe Frank could get to know Ian and maybe they could become friends. They're both elders. So Frank just learned that Ian is a goofball. That's cool. And let's see, what are you interested in? Discuss your interests. How are Frank needs? He's doing pretty good. So Ian says, you seem the friendly sort. You know if you want to help out, a few of the important local villagers are often in need of hand. Just walk up and offer help. I, I think Frank would like to do that once he's finished his tiny home. And speaking of tiny home, I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to build it. I have 15k, so I'm going to go off camera, build it, and then I'm going to come back in and we could decorate it together. Five hours later. Here's Frank's new tiny home. And guys, we're not even going to talk about how long this took me. I truly wish that I could just grab a cute tiny home off the gallery, but it is what it is. I tried my best to focus on his style of decor, which is farmhouse, vintage, and garden. But let's go in and take a tour. So once you go through the front door, to your left is the living room. I used his favorite color green throughout the build and made sure to fill this space with a vintage flair. I did mix in some custom content for the rug and lamp, but everything else is in game. Now moving on to the kitchen across the living room. I went with the farmhouse style for this, making sure he was surrounded by his favorite colors. I added some odds and ends to clutter the cabinets, which are custom content by the way. The lowers are in game. I still want to give him a teapot so he can enjoy it with his breakfast in the morning. As we make our way through this hall, I had to get this door because it's called Flower Power. How fitting, right? We have on the left the bathroom, and I didn't mean to invade my man's privacy. I'm sorry, Frank, but I used the same furnishings from the makeshift bathroom in the last episode, and I just changed up the walls to go with his farmhouse style. And these walls are custom content, but I thought it fit the vibe perfectly. Moving on across the hall is Frank's bedroom, and it's my favorite, I think. It's a mixture of farmhouse and vintage. I just had to add his dentures in for him. I did try to use the garden style, but I really didn't have much to work with. When we get more money, I will add in more plants and things in for him. Aw, it makes me so happy seeing him enjoy his space. Frank, you deserve it. Now I had Frank come out here to harvest all of his flowers and start on some arrangements. Oh yeah, he finished this, so I'll drag this in here. I do want him to focus on getting enough flower arrangements to start a sale because the bills have rolled in and the cost is not pretty. So let's get him started on another bouquet. Yikes. We need money. Oh God. Oh, I know what we can do. We will sell his snapdragons. Y'all. 4,108 simoleons. Yes, yeah, sell it. Okay, now let's start on the arrangement. Let's do the birds of paradise. My goal before ending Frank's gen is to get his money up. That way he can contribute to the bills. I cannot let the next townie pay this all by themselves. And speaking of the next townie, we're going to be spinning the wheel to see who's up next. So pause your video right now and tell me which townie you think is next. No cheating. I'm going to have him keep working on these arrangements. Which to do? Hmm. He can do that. Oh, and I know Delhi mentioned that we could complete the aspiration if we wanted to, but I don't think I'm going to complete them. Let me know how you feel about that. If you think I should complete them or if I should skip them. Great, another arrangement complete. Let's drag this into the table and let's do one more flower arrangement and then we can start the sale. Let's have him stock the table. Oh, he just reached over the fence. 
no problem, Frank. You just do you, boo. You just do you. Turn the table. And no, we're not going to mark up the prices, but we want to start the sale. And the townies have arrived. Can we interest you in any of our fabulous bouquets? Our first sale of the day. Thank you. Another sale at 1,744 simoleons. Thank you so much. Umber even came over to support. Let's stock the table to give them a wider selection. And you know what, Cecilia always comes to support. Thank you so much, Cecilia, for your purchase. We appreciate it. Our stock has been cleared out. Frank, come to the table, buddy. Dustin has come through with a purchase. Thank you, Big D. We appreciate you for sure, for sure. Cecilia is not playing. She purchased another arrangement. We're going to have to buy her dinner or something because her support is unmatched. After a long day of work, Frank is making dinner for him, Umber, and Dustin. Just a way to show his gratitude. And dinner is ready. So let's have Frank call everyone to the meal. And they can sit or stand. You know how the Sims do. And they could take this time in just to get to know each other a bit better and enjoy Frank's salad. <laughs> Frank Stam's gin is completed. We built him his home by selling flower arrangements. We are still working on giving something to the community, which we'll see in the next part. And speaking of next part, let's spin the wheel to see who our next townie is. Here we go. We're going to spin the wheel. Who is going to be our next townie? And... Oh, it's Beecher's Jam! Okay, so we're going to be playing with Beecher's Jam next episode. I am so excited. I am ready for her. I am going to wrap up this episode here. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel and are enjoying my content, don't forget to subscribe. Take care, guys, and I will see you in another video soon.